Miss Tran. I'm here today to do my August wrap up. I read a total of nine books equaling 3,406 pages. The first book I read was The Slaves of Socorro by John Flanagan. Hal and his fellow crew members have returned home to Scandia after defeating the pirate captain Zavik and reclaiming Scandia's most prized artifact, the Andamel. With their honor restored, the herons turn to a new mission, tracking down an old rival turned bitter enemy. The heron crew sails into action with the ranger Gillen for their next mission. Scorpion Mountain was the second book I read. And it was also by John Flanagan. Hal and his brother band crew and the Ranger Gillen have freed the 12 Erluans sold into slavery. Returning to Erluan, Gillen is given the new mission of protecting Princess Cassandra by King Duncan. She's already had one attempt on her life. The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner was the third book I read. Dill is a misfit in his small religious Tennessee town. His dad is in prison for a shocking crime, and his mom is struggling to make ends meet. The only things getting deal through senior year are his guitar and his fellow outcast, Travis and Lydia. Travis is an oddball who finds comfort from his violent home life in this epic book, epic fantasy book. And Lydia is like no one else, fast-talking, creative, and fiercely protective. Dear, Deal fears his, life, fears his heart will break when she escapes to a better life elsewhere. What Dylan needs to know is some bravery. What Dylan needs now is some bravery to tell Lydia how he feels and to go somewhere with his music and to face the hardest test of of all when tragedy when tragedy strikes y'all this book had me ugly crying for real the fourth book i read was paranormalcy by kirsten white evie's always thought of herself as a normal teenager and even though she works for the international paranormal containment agency her ex-boyfriend is a fairy she's falling for a shapeshifter and she's on the only person who can see through all paranormal glamours but evie is about to realize that she may very well be the at the center of a dark fairy prophecy promising destruction to all paranormal creatures so much for being normal that was a really good book divine by mistake was the next book i read by pc cast it's a Exciting fantasy novel about Sharon Parker, a high school teacher who was transported to an ancient Celtic world and transformed into, to, into the high priestess of the goddess Epona, a position that puts her right in the middle of a global conflict against an evil demonic Fomorians. Forian, the next book I read was Divine by Choice by PC Cast. This one is about after spending months in Parthalon, Shannon Parker finally gets finally grew used to her n newfound centaur husband, her connection to the goddess Epona, and the lovely pampering that came with both, especially when she, she discovered she was pregnant. Then a sudden burst of power sent her back to her li old life and left her once more as a teacher in Oklahoma. The next book I, did, I read was The Hidden Tower by James E. Wisher. This book was about Otto Shank, the youngest son of a minor baron. He's also a wizard, abused by his family and considered less than human by his kingdom. Otto does his best to survive, but the but everything changes when Otto stumbles across, the t across a tower hidden deep in a dark part of the nearest forest, the forest near his home. A tower that was once the home of an arcane lord, the immortal wizards that long ago ruled the world. Otto's life will be changed forever, and so will the world. <laughs> the next book I read was 
The Great Northern War by James E. Wisher. This book was about with the King of Gorland dead and people eager to, for revenge. Otto and Wolfric, the king's son, turned their sights north to Gorland's ancient enemy, Strachan. The northern army marches into enemy territory while back in the capital, Otto rushes to train as many wizards as he can. The next book I read and the last book of the month was The Portal Thieves by James E. Wisher. After the failure in striking, Otto was forced to accept it, that as long as Garland's enemies can be can send reinforcements through the portals, the Northern Army has hope has no hope of taking Marduk. But Otto has a plan. Seize, seize control of the portals and turn the enemy's strength against them. To accomplish, the, accomplish this seemingly impossible goal, Garland, uh, Garland's top sp spies are dispatched to place magical patches on the por portals in every capital. Behind the enemy lines and on their own, it will be a miracle if the spies can survive much less complete their missions. Each book was a four-star read for me this month. Thank you for watching.